Hey all, welcome back to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. I am Kurt Ludington, your resident host and bartender. Today we're going to be mixing up the Ancho Old Fashioned for the first video of 2021. This is a low ingredient cocktail, but it packs an amazing punch and it is simply outstanding. But before we get into the actual mixing of the cocktail, I just wanted to take a few minutes and let you know of some of the things that we have coming up here in 2021. Now, unfortunately, we could not get everything ready due to COVID for the first video of 2021, but we have a lot of new technology that's gonna be coming to the show. We've got new equipment and a lot of plans in that particular category, but we're just trying to be cautious COVID is still raging in all of our communities and we're just trying to be safe and be cautious with our family and friends. So at this point, we don't have the new technology ready, but I guarantee you it will be coming soon. Also, some of my thoughts here I want to try to do every once in a while. One moment, please. Also, I want to dabble a little bit into uh, spirit reviews, uh, different bottle reviews. Now, you know, all include, all inclusive here. I am not an expert uh, in the field of spirit reviews, but I want to share with you some of the outstanding bottles we have here down in SLB, down in the basement bourbon bar. We got several hundred bottles of bourbon and whiskeys down here. We've got quite a few gins and rums and mixers and all kinds of different things. And I think if we just take a few moments now and then to go over some of the the bottles that I feel that would be very helpful for you to have at home, I think that would be a good thing. Uh, lastly, I want to try to reach out to a few different people this year and have some guests on the show, uh, some people that are possibly experts in the field of spirit reviews. And also, I wanted to try to reach out to a few of my friends that are actual professional bartenders. Me, myself, I'm not a professional bartender. I've never worked in a bar and I've never owned a bar. We mix drinks. My passion came when we built this bar in the basement. We're actually in our personal home and we're actually in the basement here at the Basement Bourbon Bar. But I would like to get in some people that are actual professionals in the field of bartending and share their signature cocktails with us. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So that's just some of the ideas that we're bantering about right now. And, and this year, uh, you will definitely be see, see some of those things coming your way. We had a great year in 2020. That was our very first full complete year of uh, our video uh, YouTube channel. And I think it went fantastic. And I appreciate each and every one of you that subscribed. For those of you who have not yet, please don't hesitate. Let's subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss a single episode of the show. Now, what I would also be greatly appreciative of if you guys had comments and suggestions for the show, I would love to read those. I would love to try to do whatever I can to, to put out what you guys want to see as well. So that's what we have in store for 2021. Enough of that. Let's get started on this fantastic Ancho Old Fashioned. I have some agave nectar here. I'm going to pour in a half an ounce of agave nectar. Now, this is a little bit of a tidbit for you. The original recipe called for three quarters of an ounce of agave syrup. Now, I tried it and it was a little too sweet for me, but that's the beauty of making cocktails at home, especially. If you want to try it first with three quarters of an ounce and then go from there, then, then feel free to do so. I'm a firm believer in that if you like the cocktail that's in your glass, then you've made it right. But for me at this point, I'm going to pour in a half ounce of agave nectar. What I have here is a, a cool liqueur. It's an Ancho Reyes Verde. It's a chili poblano liqueur. Man, I love this stuff. It's outstanding. I'm going to put in three quarters of an ounce. It's going to give a little bit of a spicy kick to the cocktail and also a little bit of a, like a salsa verde type flavor to the cocktail. It's going to be amazing. Lastly, I'm going to put in two ounces of High West Double Rye. 
I was able to score this uh, pretty cool barrel pick bottle from Vinny's a few weeks ago. If you don't have High West, then use the uh, rye whiskey of your choice. Make sure it's rye whiskey. All right, that's all the ingredients of the cocktail. I'm gonna get some ice and give it a stir. Give it a good stir until it's nice and chilly at the bottom of your glass. We also want to make sure all that agave nectar is incorporated with the rest of the ingredients. Should be good. I have an amazing clear rock of ice ready to go. I'm going to use a double rocks glass today. A lot of my old fashions are I put in a single rocks glass but the ingredients in here is just a little bit too much so we're going to use a double rocks glass today. I'm going to finish that off with an orange peel. Let's make sure to express that peel across the top of the glass. I always like to give it a slight rub around the rim. That way every sip you take you're getting that essence of orange. There you have it. That is the Ancho Old Fashioned. Now, to me that is amazing. The little bit of the sweetness from the agave nectar kind of tones everything down and, and brings it all together, but you really, really get the rye whiskey and, and a good part of this kick coming from, this, from the salsa verde flavor in this cocktail and the spiciness. It's a little spicy, this particular liqueur, and it really relates well to this particular cocktail. So, thank you for watching today. We certainly appreciate each and every one of you. And we'll see you next time here on SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. Whatever you do, though, we always ask you to please drink responsibly. See ya.